This morning in the Rocho Kitchen, you've already seen him once. Why not twice? It's the man of the hour, our good friend Nick Raybar from Avenue N is here. Good morning. Good morning, there BK. What's, What's happening, buddy? Everything, my man. Yes, everything is happening. Lots to talk about. Yes. As you said earlier at the yes. top of the show when I, I made my soon-to-be Emmy Award winning Which was great. walk. Which was great. Very fun. Through the green Very room. Fun. Thank you. You're going to be making cheesy creamed corn casserole. Yes. Well, you know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. What? I will be here. Now, I know it's, it's like, it's weird because it's eight days away. I will be here next Wednesday. I'm going to presume by then everyone will have their menu set and their food underway. So I'm giving you a week's notice to come up with this unique, delicious Thanksgiving side dish. So unique. Take us yes. through the ingredients. Well, creamed corn is very common at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So what do we do to make it a little bit different? Well, to start, I'm going to saute up some Vidalia onions. Love it. Sweeten them up. A little bit of saute there. Then I'm going to go in with some chopped applewood bacon. Mm -hmm. All right. Bacon, creamed corn, perfect, perfect, perfect. But now we've got to make it a little cheesy. So I have three types of cheeses. Parmesan, Asiago and then blue cheese. It's the trifecta of cheeses. It is. And blue cheese might seem like it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Right. But blue cheese combined with turkey and everything, it really does blend in perfectly on the table. And if you're going to apply it, you want to just do a little bit. And this is a phenomenal application. Love I've it. I've got the heavy cream I'm going to reduce down. And then what I do often on the road show, and I talk about this a lot, and I think it's very, very important, is the breadcrumbs on top. Yeah. I have sourdough thyme breadcrumbs. Okay. Sourdough time. Now, I'm going to put a lot of breadcrumbs. Kind of like, you know, like uh, what you put on top of like a, an apple cobbler. Yes. Like that little crumble, that nice crumb, or like a coffee cake crumb. Sure. Like I want that aggressive crumb. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven. Okay. I'm going to bring it up, you know, till it's percolating and right. bubbling and cheesy and all that good stuff and this gets crispy and it's going to be fantastic. I'll be swimming in breadcrumbs. <laughs> yeah, you, you will be by the time this show is over, let me tell you. Always great to see you, buddy. You too, buddy. This is the man, Nick Raybar, Avenue N, cheesy creamed corn casseroles on the menu. What's not to love? Back to you. Wow. All right, we're back in the road show kitchen. Nick Raybar's here. Avenue N is the restaurant. We've got some creamy cheese corn casserole on the menu today. That's what he's bringing for Thanksgiving if you're inviting him. Everyone needs to make this for Thanksgiving. It smells great. It is so good. Will. Yeah, no, it really does smell. And if you do invite really me, I will bring it. All right, sounds okay. good to me. I will bring it. So, so what did you put in this? Well, this was great because we had all the ingredients out before. They're all gone. They're all in the oven right now. Let's go over some very basics. Okay. Cream corn, very common. Yep. You see it a lot on Thanksgiving. Right. So how do you make it different? Okay, well, here's how we're doing it today. We're going to saute some Vidalia onions. Not like a teaspoon, like a respectable amount, so that they caramelize and they're part of the dish. Okay. Then I put in the corn. Now, very, very important to really saute that corn. You almost want to see, like, brown on the pan. I love it when it's like that. Yeah, because yeah. corn is sweet, and mm -hmm. it caramelizes, yep. and sugar's released, and that, that's all part of the cooking process. Then I went in with some heavy cream. Now, for the cheese... I use Asiago. I'm, I'm getting hungry, Will. No, I know. <laughs> Asiago, Parmesan. Sure. All of a sudden, you turned into me. And I know. I thought that, too. And the sleeper <laughs> ingredient is blue cheese. Just Ooh. a little bit. You don't want it to be, like, too dominant, but blue cheese goes great with root vegetables, goes great with mashed potatoes, goes great with turkey, everything on the plate, but just a little bit. Okay. Then, bacon. Okay, good amount. And you, I saw the bacon you put mm -hmm. in. It was, it was crispy bacon. Crispy and yes. large dice. Yes. Large dice. Because you want that texture. It's going to soften a little bit. Right. You don't want it to be like touch it and it turns to yeah, dust yeah, yeah. bacon. Yeah. But it was cooked enough right. that once you go in, it's going to rehydrate a little bit. <laughs> then the secret was breadcrumbs. Sourdough time breadcrumbs. Now, someone's already tried this. Okay. And they said words we can't say on TV. Who is that it someone? It resembled a little shut the front door <laughs> All right. style okay. compliment. Okay. And I'm going to take this out here. And I'm going to show you. who tried this before us. I'm going to show you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie, you're not Bonnie. supposed to eat in the road show before Will. Let Bonnie, me tell Bonnie, you. Bonnie tried it. With but, but it was Bonnie. Ooh, and, and I'm holding back. It was. This Dude. is great. So listen to me. Listen to me. I'm listening. This is it. You see, it's almost like an apple cobbler. I wanted a lot. Of, of crumb on top. Now look at you, you can't wait. No, I'm like, I'm, this, it's like lava. I'm not going to die. No, no, right no, now. no. But you are going to try because I have yeah. two. This okay. one's a little more lava y. This one's a little more doable, buddy. Okay. okay. Right. That one's for the pictures. This one is for you, okay, Ooh. to jump on. Now listen, I even have a fork here with your name on it. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> It does. Here it is. Yeah. Thank not you. metaphorically uh, speaking, it actually well, has you. your name Here on it. Is. it. Well. <laughs> Thank you, Eric, for the That's penmanship. It. There we go. Nice Otherwise, with me, it would just be nice a bunch job. of squiggles. Okay. So listen, feel free to dig in. It's warm. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do anything. Did you put a little chive on this too? Oh uh, uh, yeah. You uh, for Will. Pardon me, Will. 
<laughs> Obviously, you know, we got to eat with our eyes first, okay? The well, I'm not sure which one looks better. Go ahead, eat this one. Will. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, like, I know. I like the caramelization. I like, the, I like this one because it's, yeah. it's a little more, you know. It looks great. It, it does. Looks great. Okay. Now, remember, it's a little warm, okay? So just okay. be careful. So but we'll, we'll, we'll let this. One secret, though, that I did right. while, you're, while you're letting it cool, let, let it cool was out. I took the hand blender, and while it was simmering, I gave it a couple of room, 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 just okay. to Oop. break up right. the fibers of the corn a little bit. Because you want that corn to break down. You have to have this on Thanksgiving, right? Like, I'm not being pushy, but it, you you have to make this recipe. You have to go to roadshow.com. Mm. We have a ton of Thanksgiving recipes there. Like, I've probably made 30 or 40 things over the years. Thank right. you. That root vegetable, what do you think? Let's give Look, us the feedback. I don't know what Bonnie said. Uh, well, you can imagine. But whatever it is. Use your imagination. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with it. Use your imagination. I agree. That is delicious. It is delicious. And that wow. root vegetable, the mashed root vegetable or gratin from last week mm -hmm. was great, too. See right. how we're taking mashed potatoes or root vegetables or a gratin potatoes and right. putting them all together into something different. Okay. We're doing the same thing today. We're using casserole. Right. We're using cream corn. But we're also using bacon. The onions, mm. you could probably get the onions in there, too. The onions are so good, too. And the thyme breadcrumbs. I mean, is that not a winning That's combination? A, um, very quickly, yes. are you taking orders for Yes, yeah, so Friday. Okay. And listen. <laughs> My team, he says they, this with peace and love. They hang me out to dry every year because I'm taking them all the way to the last minute. I can't do that anymore. Okay. Friday's I'm, it. I'm too old. Got I got a plan ahead. Okay, got I got a plan ahead. Right. I can't be making it on Tuesday. He's done. If you are looking to get stuff, Friday's get it. That's it. Go to the no pantry. Uh, if you'd like the recipe this for this, one. head on over to our website, roadshow.com. That we is insist. delicious. Yes. Ooh.